Hi boys and girls, this is your language arts e-learning lesson for Friday, May 1st. We're going to start with grammar. Today in grammar, since we finished up unit four and we did the checkup for unit four, we have a fun activity today on page 165 and it's called The World's Kitchen. I'm going to read what it says here and then we'll take a look at the board. So The World's Kitchen, create a tempting menu for The World's Kitchen a restaurant that serves food from around the world. List several dishes on the menu using one proper adjective and at least one regular adjective for each. For example, Chinese noodles with rich spicy sauce. Includes food, include foods from as many different countries as you can. So your job for today is to create a menu. The name of the restaurant is called The World's Kitchen and we're looking at foods from around the world. So the example that they gave was Chinese noodles with rich spicy sauce. The goal here is that you're going to have at least 10 items on your menu. Okay, so at least 10 items. Each item needs to be from a different country. Here we have something from China, so we use the proper adjective, Chinese, so it's Chinese noodles, and then you describe that dish. Well, the Chinese noodles are with rich spicy sauce, and here we have two adjectives to describe the sauce. So again, your goal is at least 10 items, 10 different countries. You use the proper adjective to describe whatever it is, so in this case it was Chinese noodles, so we have that proper adjective Chinese describing the noodles, and then you have to further that description using another adjective, not another proper adjective, just another adjective. And here we have rich spicy sauce, so we have two adjectives to describe the sauce. Okay, so um, maybe you want to say, um, something from Italy. Okay, we'll say Italian pasta. Okay, Italian pasta with, um, how about some cheesy garlic. So now we have another country, Italy. We use the proper adjective, Italian, to describe the pasta, and that's going to be served with cheesy garlic bread. Okay, cheesy and garlic describe bread. Okay, so at least 10 items, and that means 10 different countries, You can write or type your list, or you can be as creative as you would like with it. If you'd like to include pictures with it, if you'd like to do it all, um, let's say on Google Slides, and you can just do a slide for each country and each item, you may do that as well. So again, at least 10 items, meaning 10 different countries, then you have to include that proper adjective and at least one other adjective. Okay, in a lot of cases, I think you will have two adjectives, but at least one other adjective in the description. You may write or type the list and just have a, just a list, and that's fine. Write or type the list, that's fine. I do want you to underline the proper adjective and then the other adjectives that you use. So again, you just want to do the basic assignment. That's the list of at least 10 different countries. Okay, you may do that. Do underline proper adjectives and then other adjectives that are used. Or you can be more creative, include pictures with it, do it as Google Slides, um, whatever it is um, you would like to do, okay? All right, so that is for your uh, grammar today, a review of using adjectives, both proper adjectives and other adjectives as well. So have some fun with that. I'm looking to see how creative um, you're going to be with that. Remember, it is a menu for the restaurant, The World's Kitchen. Okay. 
in addition to that, today you have your spelling test for lesson 27. And then you have Wordly Wise 14C and 14D. 14C and D. And that means you have 14C is as usual, which is where you have to circle the letter um, next to the answer choice that completes the sentence. And of course, there's more than one correct answer for each there. And then in 14D is where you are completing the sentence in your own words, showing that you understand the meaning of the word in bold, in vocabulary word. Okay, so that's 14C and 14D. And then today for reading, we have a Zoom meeting to discuss fever up to chapter 24, okay? If you have any questions about anything that you need to work on today, please make sure you reach out to me so that I can help you out, okay? And I'll see you later in Zoom, bye.